Hey everyone, my name's Silver, welcome back to the channel, and today guys, I got episode 22 weekly review, and guys, by far, this week was probably one of my busiest for screenshots ever, I have over 61 to go through, and guys, this week's episode was probably by far one of the best out of G, and I'm gonna give you the rating early, so if you haven't seen it yet, please go check it out, link down in the description below, as always. Um, and I'll be coming out with an update video probably tomorrow discussing how next season's episode reviews will go. So also keep an eye out for that. I will be announcing the giveaways either tomorrow or Monday. So if you haven't entered the giveaway yet, please, 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 please go check out both giveaways because they are both ending by Monday. So by Monday there should be a video up announcing the winner and when we reach 400 subscribers we will be giving away the second copy of Fortnite plus a few other things so guys let's go smash that subscribe button if you're new and smash the like button if you want more content like this all right so let's get into this week's episode it's not really too much to discuss so um this week's episode was sort of just a nostalgic episode we got the creator future from last week at the very end if you guys remember that uh, we also got them doing their cool little we're gonna beat Jesus pose. And yeah, that was sort of the intro to this week. Um, we get them overlooking them. And yeah, so overall this is pretty nice. I like that we have a nice look at Giza in its full form and size comparison to them. I mean, Giza is massive. You have to think that Kazuto's chilling out in here being controlled by it. And you have Tokuha, Chrono, and... Shion, all here, just literally like the fraction size of um, Giza. So let's move along. Um, there's not really too much. Uh, this wasn't meant to be here, but yeah, this is when they first entered. Um, so Giza's like, well, time to duel. It is time to da -da 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 duel. Yeah, that was a bad Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Um, I understand if you no longer like me. I don't even like me after that. So, but yeah, so he's like, oh, time to absorb you. And that's what he does. He just... <laughs> and he sends them to this massive air arena. So these two tables are connected, midget size and god size. Uh, I would assume we don't really get a view of Giza's table, but we do get a view of Tokoha's. That Tokoha's cards appear here just as well as Giza's appears on her table. So, I actually really like this symmetry because it's like end of world final final battle. It's the final countdown. Dun, dun. Yeah, I'm just, I'm sorry. I had a really fun day today, so I'm sort of hyped up and I'm excited. Because after this and I get this uploaded, I'm probably going to play video games with some friends if any of my friends are online. Probably not. They all hate me. Um. So, moving along. So, yeah, we get Giza battling Togoha, Chrono, and... Shion, I don't really have too many some pictures of that, but we do get this is we're gonna settle this now type of deal And they're all ready. So you see Tokoha is sort of in this forest that Zoo Nation is from um, We get Chrono in a like gear shop a factory and Shion in the United Sanctuary, so it's kind of nice It's really awesome some wonderful symmetry for their cards and then we move on to sort of just everyone fighting. And that's sort of where the rest of this episode takes away. And a lot of the clips you're going to see from here forward are is just like everyone from the season. Like if you forgot a character, trust me, they're bound to be in here. For Misaki was a thing. Probably not because Misaki is life. Uh, you forgot uh, Kamui. Well, you shouldn't because he's part of the whole G-series. Well, maybe you forgot Kai was a part of the series because he's sort of been absent for most of the arc. Um, yeah, they're just sort of battling out on Cray. Don't, not giving two cares in the world. Oh, you forgot Tayo was a good player? Don't forget it now. He's here. What? You forgot Ibuki was a player and not just a random filling character? He's here too. But yeah, no, it's just literally them fighting Bat Black Sludge or the nothingness for the entire episode. It's literally just these little clips of people talking. You know, they invade the night, they invade um the united sanctuary or not the united the dragon empire branch and the rest oh no we're gonna die here don't worry 
Trinity Dragon is here to defend the branch. And then there's Tokoha's brother just, just sort of chilling. Like, I don't, I play Vanguard, I'm good, but they're better. So they should fight. And then it's just us. Oh, darn. And then we get little, little, um, what's his name? The, the other Chrono Tiger. He was looking through his own Zodiac Time Beast deck. He's adorable. He's grown a lot since the end of Stride Gate. But yeah, so we get him. They're like, oh, and there's these zombie-like creatures. These creatures honestly remind me of zombies, and I wish they were more zombie-like. If you lost a card fight, they devoured your soul or something. That'd be funny. I'm That is probably darker than it should be, but it's okay. So we get their little spiel, and then they go on to defend. And then we get we get cut to here, and him fighting. He says, I'm going to fight to make up for my sins. And then Chrono Waifu material comes in, and it's just us. Nope, we're coming to help. We also had Jamie here. I didn't find Jamie worth putting in. Jamie's been weird this season. Jamie was good season one. Jamie's been weird season two. So she's here. She's got her little finger flip up. And yeah, they're just sort of card fighting. And we then we cut back to the one and only Gear Chrono Singularity. And him and Chrono are having a chat. This is an awesome screenshot. I think I found the screenshot for the video. That or one other. You guys, there's two total screenshots. So yeah, they're talking and he's just saying how the world will end and they're having flashbacks because as of late, flashbacks have been staples because Busher doesn't want to reanimate anything. They just want to voice over everything. So, um, or not reanimate, but animate new stuff. So we're going to have a flashback and we have quite a few flashbacks throughout this series. So we, we have a flashback of this. And then Chrono says, I'm going to win this because Chrono Jet Logic. I haven't lost a battle yet. Not an important one like this. I'm not Aichi Sendo level of awesomeness. This is a really bad episode, guys. I'm sorry. Moving along. So we get an awesome little screenshot of Chrono Jet Z, which I like, or Chrono Jet Dragon Z, which I like, which I'm probably going to turn into a playmat because this just looks awesome. Um, this is also screenshot material, and then we get more flashbacks of how Kazuto never gave up when he first started playing, and how amazing he was, and how they won the under-20 together, because that's all that mattered, was the under-20. It was such a simple time, defeat the few diff rides they knew about, and save the world! But alas, it couldn't last forever, so Chrono has to disappear, call more units to battle! And then he guards using those. Ha! Ha! He's using old cards to guard with. Ha! Haven't you heard? There's our reboot. Use the new stuff. Ha! What a, what a dork. Oh god. I, this is such a cringy episode. I am, I'm sorry for this review, guys. So he guards and then Chrono starts psyching himself out because Giza has the ability to project yourself, hating yourself in your mind. And he's saying, like, this would have never happened if you just let be alone, you know. We wouldn't be here if you hadn't picked up that deck and stuff like that. It was very, very much like, this is all your fault. Your friends and everyone else got hurt because of you. This is all your fault. So, yeah. Um, dark, dark twist. Thank you, Bushiro. Uh, then we see Giza and Kazuto, or Giza consuming Kazuto is what I would feel like is happening here. Um, yeah, and what's even funny is we're only through 25 clips. So, we'll, we'll be getting through them quicker. Uh, he has some drive checks, some heal triggers, and criticals at some point, just to bind Xerox Dragons. I don't know why I took a screenshot. I think I accidentally did, but hey, it works. It's part of the episode. Um, and then we just have some awesome, you know, striding moments before we get back to doing really nothing. Um, so he strides, and it's just Asha and Drag, Drag Abyss or Drag Abyss Luard. And then you know, after a pummeling, we used to get this imagery of Kazuto just being there and ready to fight. But at last, Chrono starts having more flashbacks because we can't stop having flashbacks, and he's just psyching himself out. And then we cut back to, yep, we ignore the main fight of this episode, to more friendship speech. They're all talking about how they're all important 
in hoping that they can hear them. They're going to protect the others and hold back the invaders until Chrono and the rest can save them. And then they realize there's a massive army of nothing stopping, of nothingness not stopping, which is kind of weird because nothingness is nothing. So, yeah. And then we hear the magic of jetpacks flying in. And we finally get the idols we've been waiting for. This entire season's been so dry. We didn't have any music. Like, guys, we didn't have any, really anything to go with the series. It's all been doom and gloom. And unfortunately, the anime doesn't do itself justice here. There is, let's just help in battle. And we see that in the next two slides I have. Where it just says, don't lose, Chrono, Shion. Because of you, we were able to make things right again. So, like, they, they could have sung or something here just to pick up the beat of the anime. I mean, it was, like I said, by far probably the best episode out of the entire season. But it was just, oh, here's the singers. They're gonna battle. And I understand that's sort of the point of fighting back, but it would have been nice if they, instead of fighting, were more morale boost and Chris could have, like, hacked into speakers around the world and started playing their song. It, it, it's just what's something that I feel like the season's lacking that I'll cover in an episode after next week once the entire series is finished. Is I'm going to review how they did the series so wrong. And then we cut back to the main fight of Tokoha fighting and doing Tokoha shenanigans with Bloom. Because, you know, when you're column 8 at 10k, at 100k per unit, you ain't playing Bloom right. Um, we get, uh, Shion's friend from high school, like, imagining his victory in dreams and how Shion helped him realize it. And Gabrielle's just here because, well, Angel Feather user gotta be killing fools if she ain't cool. I have no idea what I just said. I feel very dirty and I'm sorry. Um, we get Shion's overview of his field setup. Uh, there was a picture of Fidus, but I didn't get it in time. This is what I got, so... And, and honestly, I wanted to get this out sooner rather than later, so this is what we have. Uh, we see Fenrir user lace. He's here being cool. Um, the, uh, the guy that was diff-rated, the Mega Colony user, is begging Chris to forgive him. He was curious to do research. And then we get Trinity Dragon not giving up hope and attacking, even though it's really hard and they would rather just give up. And it happens. But they press forward. And then we get little monkey baby t Gear Chronicle user fighting. And Tokoha's brother realizes they're about to be consumed by it. And we get a BAM! Shadow Paladin! Right Or Gaza! Comes into the fray. And yeah. And from there, it's still pretty much just a rack up. Chris realizes that there's fighters all over the world. And then the next scene. Boy, oh boy, I can't wait to tear apart these next two slides. Chrono, or not Chrono, wow, Aichi and Kai are using Psyqualia. The one, the only, Psyqualia. Look at it, look at it, Psyqualia. They both have it. Referencing the reboot, I would assume. But no, in all reality, these two have it because they're connecting to all the fighters in the world. And I choose this, can you feel it? And he doesn't really say, can you feel it? But they realize that their Psyqualia helps and Kai and him and these two and even her and him all feel the connection. Even he does. They're all like, Chrono, if you can hear us, help grasp the future in all this cheesy nonsense that this entire G-series has been about. And then we cut back to Chrono using Gear Chronicle. And he strides into neck, uh, whatever this unit's called again. I forget. It's like, it's Gear Next, whatever, silly name. And obviously he calls, he attacks Luard. Um, he, because he's the singularity, it's all his fault. And then, Shion's like, my strength will defeat you. Tokoha's feels the same way. Their power's rising. They all fail their turn. And then we get 
<coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I should edit that out, but I don't have the time to render another video copy of this. Um, so... Wow, I'm sorry. Um, so, obviously, Giza comes into play, and episode ends, because we have to drag this out longer than it should have been. Like this recording. So we get a few... We, well, looks into next week's episode. It looks like Chrono's going to have some internal to struggle with a Dran. He's going to release his full power. Can you feel it? He's going to be happy. And the final turn. So next week sounds to be the last episode of G. And with that, guys, that concludes the episode wrap-up for this week. Honestly, like I said, and it's mostly just because this entire week's episode has been just a recap of characters and how they feel it was just a nice relaxing episode it went by really quickly but overall it was a good episode for a before the finale and guys if you did enjoy this please let me know down in the comments below or leave a like or subscribe if you're new like i said guys the giveaway is ending either sunday or monday so you have until then to enter i will try to aim for the giveaway final the giveaway to be up and on my channel by 5 o'clock the latest Monday night. Past that, guys, I can't do much else. And until next time, I've been the Wolf, and I will see you all later.